All right, it's time for your next dictation exercise. So first we'll go over briefly how to write each letter and do some real short exercises with that. <clears throat> so today the letters we're going to learn are mo, mu, na. Now this one has a special pronunciation. It's hna. I have an H sound at the beginning, hna. And there's this special one, which is na. It ends with an H sound. So this one starts with an H sound, na, and this one ends with the H sound, na. Then there's ne and ni. Now you'll notice that we go mu, um, mo, mu, but there is no ma. Um, the alphabet does not have a ma letter. There is no ma in the spoken Cherokee. Um, the closest sound you can probably get to that would be ma, which is the one we learned in the last lesson. So let's go ahead and um, practice each one. So for mo, we start close to the top of your line. We curve down, we curve up, then we pull straight down and go under like this to make a matching side. And then we can put a small line right there, and then we add a cap. Again, we start near the top, we pull down just a little bit and curve back up. Then we pull straight down and curve around and back up a little bit. Then we add a line and a cap. Again, mo. 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 Alright, you should now be familiar with the basic shape of mo. Now to write mu, we're going to start out like we're writing the letter G. So we pull down, just like we're writing the letter G, and we pull over, but instead of just keeping it flat, we pull up. So we're actually going back up immediately, and we add a hook back towards the middle. Then we add the missing, the final piece. So that's mu. Now, like I said, it's shaped very much like the letter gi. So make sure that you do do the pulling up and you do the hook across. That's how you tell them apart. This pull up with the hook heading back lets you know that this is the letter mu and not the letter gi. This is the letter mu. All right, so let's practice another, a few more. So we're going to pull down, immediately swing back up a little bit, and then hook back, and then we'll add the cross part for mu. So mu, mu, mu. Go on to the next letter. And this is the letter na. Now I'm going to go ahead and put up here the um, English phonetics for the letter because it's going to be similar sounding to the next two letters so we can see how they sound. I'll make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so this one sounds as na. Okay? So to do this one, we just draw a circle, kind of flat, like this. We just draw a bar across, and that's the letter na. So let's practice a few times. Na. 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 
Na? 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 All right. Just for completeness. Okay. Now the next letter is HNA. That's because we start with an H sound, then we add NA to the end. Okay? So it's this letter with a leading H, then it turns into that. That's HNA. 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 So to draw the HNA, we pull straight down, we go up, and we pull back down immediately, like so. Then we add the crossbar, and we add a half a cap. Okay, again, we're pulling straight down, we're curving, we curve all the way up, then we go back down on the same line and curve out, like that. Then we add the crossbar, then we add a half a cap. Again, we pull straight down, we curve, we pull up, we come down, we pull over, we add the crossbar, we add the cap. Okay, so let's do a, through a few of these. Remember now that you should be saying these let letters aloud as you start to write them. Always keep the tip of the tongue against the front lower teeth as you do that. So, na. 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 All right. The next letter is this letter right here. Is the letter na. Now that one ends with an H sound, so it's na. But it's ending with that H sound. Now remember, that H is sounded out. This is not English we're talking about, so you have to sound out the H. So it's nah. You're ending with nah, nah. And it kind of puts it the nose a little bit when you do that. Nah. Now, a special note on this letter right here you, most of the time, you will never see this letter written. Uh, this letter is mainly found only in very, very old documents. Modern Cherokee does not use this letter. They normally substitute na. Okay? But we want to go ahead and cover the shape of the letter so that you become familiar with it, so that you know that it exists. So it's included in all the exercises as if it was in active use. But it's only really found in old, old documents. So. So for the letter na, we start at the top, we go down us a little bit, and we pull immediately back up to make a big circle, like this, but we don't close the circle, and we stop like that. Then we add a cap. Okay? Again, we pull straight down us a little bit, and we immediately go back up, curving all the way around, we come up, and we add a cap. Again, we pull down. We go up and around, 
then back up, and add the cat. So let's practice a few of these. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. All right. I'm going to go ahead and erase his English pronunciation marks up here. It shouldn't be needed for the last two letters. The next letter is the letter nay. So you can think of it just like a horse's nay in English. You, you know, horse's nay. Well, this letter is the letter nay, the sound the horse makes. So. Uh, there's two different ways you can do it. You can either do it like it shows here where you do the curly part first and then you draw a line, or you can try drawing a line and doing the curly part. So let's try one way first. Let's draw the curly part first, like this, and we just add a line to the end of it, like that. Okay? Or we can draw the line, then we can add the curly part to it. And it gives them a little bit different look when you do them that way. Um, so that's the letter nay. So let's go ahead and practice this. Now keep in mind that this half is curly. It is not a straight line. It is definitely a curly line. You have to curl it, okay, before you add your straight line. So nay. 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 All right. The last new letter for this exercise set is the letter knee. So the drew letter knee, you do a full height line. You just in the middle, you pull out, curve down, and that's it. That's the letter knee. So let's practice the letter knee. So knee, 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 knee. Knee, 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 knee. All right. So you should now be ready for your syllabary dictation exercise. Um, remember that as you're doing the exercises, to always keep it, to always say the letter's name aloud while keeping the tip of the tongue against the lower front teeth. This helps you develop correct pronunciation pattern when you're looking directly at the syllabary.
because um, in later lessons when you're actually learning to read whole words using the syllabary after you learn the basic sounds you will automatically place your tongue in the correct position if you learn the letters with the tongue against the lower front teeth when you're first learning to write them.